And what's your question tonight, Hi, Dan? Hi, Governor Haley. My question is, inflation is soaring, and multiple states are implementing higher minimum wages, which will only exacerbate cost of goods and job growth even more. What can you realistically do as president to combat this, or is there no going back? There's going back. They just may not like the going back and what that looks like. I mean, first of all, you look, and as much as I would love to say Biden did this to us, our Republicans did this to us, too. I mean, you look back at that $2.2 trillion COVID stimulus bill that they passed with no accountability. We now have 80 million Americans on Medicaid, 42 million Americans on food stamps. That's a third of our country. And did Republicans try and make it right? No. Nope. They opened up earmarks and pet projects for the first time in 10 years, pushing through 7,000 of them last December. Want to know how they spent your money? $30 million on an honors college in Vermont. $10 million to tear down a hotel in Alaska. $7.5 million on a courthouse in Colorado. And the list goes on. In the 2024 appropriations budget, Republicans put in $7.4 billion worth of pet projects and earmarks. Democrats put in $2.8 billion. So now you tell me who the big spenders are. All while one in six American families can't pay their utility bill. 60% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. 50% of American families can't afford diapers. Social Security will go bankrupt in 10 years. Medicare will go bankrupt in eight. So what we have to do is realize there are no saints in Washington that got us into this. Stimuluses never work. Debt never works. Everybody talks about how great the economy was under Trump. But at what cost? He put us $8 trillion in debt in just four years. Our kids will never forgive us for that. That's not how you improve an economy. What we will do is we will stop the spending, we'll stop the borrowing, we'll eliminate the earmarks, and I'll veto any spending bill that doesn't take us back to pre-COVID levels. We will go and take as many federal programs as we can and send them down to the state level. That will reduce the size of the federal government, but it will empower people on the ground. And then we will focus on the middle class. Right now, the middle class, we're watching the rich get richer and the poor get poor. We're going to go and eliminate the gas and diesel tax um, in this country. And then we're going to make sure we cut taxes on the middle class and simplify those brackets. And finally, we're going to make the small business tax cuts permanent. They made them temporary. They made the corporate tax cuts permanent. I grew up in a small business. Small businesses are the heartbeat of our economy. But we can't just say it. We have to prove it. So when we start to focus on the spending that's happening, and I will do it in every one of our agencies, is make sure we take them back to what their core mission is, get all these old programs down, get all this federal regulation down, get all of this extra bureaucracy down. That's how we will start to get our financial situation back on track. And that's why I think we need an accountant in the White House. Well, Michelle...